All right, all right. Okay, for real though, 27, <laughs> it reads like this. It reads, I'm reading out of the Amplified Bible in order to give you clarification in uh, what he's talking about, amen. It reads like this, stop toiling and doing and producing for food and that perishes and decomposes in the using. But strive and work and produce rather for the lasting food which endures continually unto, eternal li- unto life eternal. The Son of Man will give, furnish you that for God the Father has authorized and certified him and put his seal of endorsement upon him. And the disciples said in verse 28, Then they said, What are we to do that we may habitually be working the works of God? What are we to do to carry out what God requires? In other words, I realize that the dispensation has changed. I realize that the administration has changed from the Bush administration to the Obama administration. Now they were under the Obama administration. What am I supposed to do now that I'm under this administration? I'm no longer under the old administration of the Mosaic law. So now that I'm under a new law and under a new administration, what am I supposed to do now? Because I'm used to, watch what he says, I'm used to habitually working. Did y'all hear that? He used the word habitually. He said, I'm used to toiling. I'm used to self-effort. I'm used to doing all these things that I used to do before. And Jesus replies to him, this is the work, this is the service that God asks of you. Of you. Are you listening to me? That you believe in the one whom he has sent, that you cleave to, trust in, rely on, and have faith in his messenger. He says, now I realize that you used to toil. I I realize that you were confined in selfism. And I realize that you were doing what you were used to be used to doing in the Old Testament and under the old administration. But now, you need to take all those works and put it in your belief account. In other words, I need to roll it over into your belief account. And once all that's rolled over into your belief account, you will always yield a harvest no matter what you do because now your belief is your works. And the church said, As a born-again believer, we have to understand that when he's talking about belief, he's talking about to have faith in the one who the God has sent. To have faith in the one who God has sent. He said, now, you don't have to, you don't have to toil. You don't have to go through what you're going through. You don't have to do what you were doing before. Because now, there's a different system. And the system that you now live in, only only, only operate by the faith that I put in you. He said, if you do not operate in the faith that I put in you, then you are literally shortchanging yourself out of the full benefits of what it is that you can receive by faith that I put in you. And the church said, He said, in this life, on this Christian journey, as a born-again believer who has the insignia of a Christian on your forehead, he said, the only way for you to succeed, the only way for you to excel, the only way for you to prosper in this earth is you must do it by your faith. He said, you must have faith. Number one, watch this. First prerequisite in the sequential order of your faith. He said, number one, you've got to believe in the Son that He has sent. And once we get that solidified, and once we have the, the doctrine of Christ embedded in our spirit, the, uh, the, the by Christ, in Christ, and through Christ embedded in us, he says, now that you got that right there, he said, now you can have faith to remove a mountain. And the church said, But if you don't believe in the Son of God, glory to God, who gave you your faith, then how is it that you're going to be able to remove a mountain? How is it that you can say to your finances and make them line up the way they're supposed to line up? How can you speak to your relationships? How can you speak promotion on your job? How is it that you can do those things if you don't believe in the one who gave you the faith? And the church said, 
So that's the primary prerequisite in order for you to utilize your faith. You've got to give it as the first fruit. What does that mean? You've got to show that faith in the Son of God. He said, your works is now constituted by your belief in the Son and what He has done. Amen. He said all that extra extracurricular activity and all the slaying of bulls and all that other stuff that was going on in the old administration, he said, is gone. You don't have to do that no more. He said, you don't have to work by the sweat of your brow anymore. He said, I have designed a new way for you to live, and all you got to do is believe that I did it. He said, all we got to do is believe it. But we have a difficult time as born again believers believing in the Son of God and what He's done because we've been conditioned by the old system. To where now, even today in 2015 today, we still have a tendency to vacillate between two systems. And every time we vacillate between two systems, please hear me and understand this, we always forfeit the full benefits of the grace of God. 